Did you know that 20% of African Americans have sickle cell disease? Reporting from the Dream Big Concert here in Chicago, I'm Tony Prince for Africa US Today magazine. Today, we have an exclusive interview with Ivan Alice, the headliner artist of today's event. Ivan has collaborated with several musicians and actors and dancers in Chicago to put together an amazing event to create an awareness of sickle cell disease. Stay tuned because I have an exclusive interviews with him and so much more. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. We're here with Jamel Pierre. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm doing great, man. Life is good. Life is a blessing here to perform for these high school students and uh, give, a, give a great show. You know? Is it weird being in the classroom right now? It takes me back, man. <laughs> I remember I was sitting like right over there, you know, and um, I was a good student. You were I the was... quiet kid in the back? <laughs> I wasn't uh, that quiet. As he has his sung <laughs> he has his sunglasses on. We don't really know. Um, don't know. So, so tell us a little bit about yourself. We are international based magazine, so we have viewers and readers all around the world. Um, tell us a little bit how you got started. Who are you? Uh, well, my name is Jamel Pierre, and um, I'm a hip hop artist. Mm -hmm. You know, with a little bit of twist to it because I dance and um, I'm a songwriter as well. So it's pretty much an international feel to my whole. Uh, situation, my whole performance, my whole music, you know, as a, as a total, you know, and you'll see that on my upcoming project, The Breeze, Volume 1, so be on the lookout for that, you guys. So what brings you out today? Oh, uh, what brings me out is uh, I'm a part of the Ivan Ellis Dream Big concert, you know, so uh, he asked me to get on it, man, and, and I'm here to, to just give a great show, you know, I think uh, the fans will appreciate it, you know, and I'm performing singles like Shake That, Get up, get out, will you be? So, oh, wow. man, it's a blessing, man, just to be here, so, yeah. Why do you think it's so important for us to speak about sickle cell right now? I feel like it's, a, it's an important thing to just bring awareness to any situation. I mean, we, we have killings going on in Chicago that we need to discuss. We have sickle cell, you know, that's just affecting people regardless. Anything that's affecting us as people, I think we need to bring attention and bring awareness to it to hopefully solve it in the future because these kids out here are our future, you know. So considering that the goal for today is to create awareness and also to sponsor kids to go to camp, have you ever been to camp? And if so, can you share an impactful experience that you've had? Um, I have been to camp. I was like third, fourth grade, you know, but uh, the the big experience that I had was um, it was just a culture blend. You know, I was dealing with this when I when I moved, I was dealing with just different ethnicities mm -hmm. and it allowed me to just strive better today. That's why in my music you will hear a clash of this, a clash of that, because, you know, I, I grew up with that. You know, I grew up with that base of just knowing and, and filling out different cultures, you know. Fantastic. How do you think? Your um, talents and your gifts can be utilized in combating illnesses and issues, whether they're mental health or physical health. Um, how do you think you can use your gifts and talents to help combat these um, issues that we find ourselves facing each day? Well, I, I always planned on giving back, you know, and that's my motive. That's what drives me, you know, to give back to my family, my peers, but also to give back just to, to the community, whether it's schools, hospitals, you know, anybody in need, I, I, I feel like since we have a role to be a role model, it's always good to stand on that on that uh, situation and just kind of set the set the standard for you know upcoming men and women these days. So what's next for you? Uh, what's next for me? Um, well, the Breeze Volume One is uh, you know I'm working on it. And I'm I'm in progress with it, so uh, it should be coming out you know um, roughly maybe November or so you know and. Uh, other than that, what I'm working on is YKYQ promotions. You know, I'm a friendly pe person, so getting out in these clubs, you know, throwing parties for, you know, people and getting to know people at the same time, you know, so. Um, and where can people follow you? Uh, follow me, Instagram, Jamel Pierre, Twitter, Jamel Pierre underscore. And then you can find my YouTube page at youtube.com slash air of tomorrow. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for watching. For Africa US Today Magazine, I'm Tony Prince.